on your win today. Can you Thank just you. give us your overall thoughts on your performance in the match? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the, the first match. Uh, you know, it's never easy to start the tournament. Today was a tough condition out there and a couple, a couple first games were a little bit tight and then uh, I was able to play better and better and very happy to, to get through in a quick, uh, quick match at the end. Great. English questions, please? Yes. That long court, but what was the, the heat like in Melbourne today compared to other visits? Um, I have to admit, on the road level, it was pretty nice. I mean, obviously, it was warm and it was nice to be able to walk in the shadow a little bit when you were going to serve, but I didn't feel that uh, that's such warm weather. Uh, maybe I don't know if the, in the crowd there is some EC or whatever, but it felt warm, but it felt okay. of getting the first match under your belt were there more nerves than normal was it was a pretty standard walking out there how did you how did you feel before walking out on court oh, there were nerves obviously there is uh, and I think there will always be some that mean I care also about what I'm doing um, I was not expecting at the beginning to play on world level so I was a little bit surprised when I saw the schedule out and it was it's actually my first win on the world level so it's pretty nice and uh, and yeah, I mean, I was a bit stressed. The arm was not very, the ball were not going out of the racket very fast in the last, in the first couple of games. And then with time, it got better and better. So I'm glad I, I stayed calm and uh, just focused one point at a time to be able to improve and stay positive. Courtney, and how have you kind of over the course of your career changed how you manage a two week slam? Like, you know, the day off. In between, sometimes in the past, you obviously had doubles as well. But, yeah. but at this point, how have you locked in your kind of uh, routines, I guess, at a major? Yeah, I think last year uh, I obviously uh, did better in slams. Uh, in US Open, I was playing the doubles, so it's going to be a different routine for this tournament. Uh, in Wimbledon, uh, it was it was like it was, I want to be here. <laughs> and, and yeah, I think you... you Learn more how you, you want to manage your day off, uh, your afternoon after the match, if you finish early. Um, it's also easier as a top seed to be uh, to book practice and everything if, in case if it's raining and everything, so it makes your life easier. Uh, Melbourne is nice because you stay close by, so just you know take a chill day and just don't focus too early on the next match. Any last questions in English? Courtney? Uh, just looking ahead, obviously, you're facing Layla. Um, what, do, what do you make of that matchup? It's a, it's a great second round, of, obviously. Uh, you know, she did great in the slams in the past, and uh, she's a very young player, very talented uh, lefty, so you don't play as much as lefty. And, uh, yeah, I will have to, to be... Um, it's a good challenge. I will have to play my, my best tennis for sure. I try to take the second set of today, a uh, good practice tomorrow, and then just go for it and uh, try to be more aggressive than her. A random question about scheduling. Obviously, you've been, you know, a top ten player. You've been lower ranked, younger, etc. What's the most surprising thing do you think that like people from the outside might not understand about how you guys plan your schedules, how you decide what tournaments to play, especially when you're lower ranked and there's maybe some strategic decisions that you might have to make to chase points, chase prize mm. money, etc. I, when you are lower, you already want to enter in the tournament, you know, like sometimes you don't really choose where you go because in some, some weeks there is two tournaments and sometimes some are stronger than the other one. So you just go in the lower uh, ranked one where you are going to get in in the main draw. I think it's more important to get in the main draw, obviously. Uh, I didn't, when I was lower ranked uh, at the beginning of last year, I always thought about... Um, where I can get points, where how is the draw going to be, and whatever, but you never really know. And I never chase price money, <laughs> I have to admit. Uh, but it's more about the points and how you can get the wins to, to make you able to get in the bigger tournament. Great. All right, we'll switch to French. Questions in French? <laughs>